डॉक्टर एस एस पाटिल प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग वालचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर टुडे वी शेल डिस्कस न्यूमेरिकल एग्जांपल्स ऑन डिजाइन ऑफ एक्चुअली लोडेड शॉर्ट कॉल लर्निंग आउटकम्स एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू एनालाइज एंड डिजाइन एक्चुअली लोडेड शॉर्ट स्क्वेयर कॉलम design example design a column 4 meter long restrained in position and direction at both ends to carry an axial load of 1600 kN use m20 concrete and fe405 steel so unsupported length is 4 meter both ends are fixed so therefore effective length is 0.65 times the unsupported length and we get factored load 1.5 is your our multiplication factor into 1600 that is 24 km so we can assume a steel as we have seen that 0.8% is minimum steel required assuming 1% of steel we get area of concrete 99% and area of steel as 1% longitudinal percent 1% of gross area so concrete is 99% of gross area so therefore if we substitute in pu is equal to 0.4 fck ac into 0.67 fy asc we get this particular equation 2400 into 10 to the power of 3 to convert kilo newton into newton so this is 0.4 20 newton per m square so 99% 99 by 100 into ag plus 0.67 times 415 is your yield stress 1 by 100 that is 1% of ag so ag we get this particular value that is gross area of cross section of concrete required using a square column we take square root of this it is 474 therefore let us provide 500 mm by 500 mm column now let us check its slenderness ratio it is l effective by b it is 5.2 which is less than 12 therefore it is a short column now we are supposed to check the minimum eccentricity criteria because we have used that formula given in is therefore minimum eccentricity is given by l by 500 plus d by 30 it was thought to be 24.67 so e minimum divided by d that was thought to be 0.049 which is less than 0.05 hence the design of axially loaded short column is satisfactory longitudinal reinforcement attain 1% of ag it is 223443 mm square provide 8 bars of 20 mm diameter bars so always provide even number so that you can distribute properly and minimum required is 4 lateral ties the diameter of the lateral tie should not be less than the diameter of the bar divided by 4 5 mm or 6 mm minimum hence use 6 mm bars spacing it shall not it shall be minimum of least lateral dimension that is 500 16 times the diameter that is highest bar 20 that is 320 or 300 so out of this the least value is 300 therefore 6 mm lateral ties at 300 mm spacing as shown in figure 3 so that we will get the details this is plan and this is elevation 
wherein you find the longitudinal bars these are the longitudinal bars and these are lateral ties and here we have provided the lateral ties one along this and one along this central portion let us deal one more design example wherein you find something different than the previous one design a reinforcement for the short actually loaded square column here size is given 400 mm by 400 mm to support a load of 1000 kN use m20 concrete fe415 steel again pu is 1.5 times 1000 that will give us 15 because it is in kN multiplied by 10 to the power of 3 we will get in Newton now the size of the column is given therefore it is 400 by 400 AG is known AG is known that 16 into 10 to the power of 4 mm square now if we use the equation given in IS 456 PU is equal to 0.4 FCKAC plus 0.67 FYASC and if you substitute the values we will find that the percentage steel was sought to be 0 0.509 percentage steel was sought to be 0 0.509 because here we have taken VSG into 1 minus P divided by 100 where P is the percentage of steel provided where P is the percentage of steel provided so therefore it was sought to be 0 0.509 this is less than minimum reinforcement that is 0.8 hence provide 0.8 percent of reinforcement so that means we are supposed to provide 0.8 percent of the reinforcement required is less required is less but however we have to provide 0.8 percent of the reinforcement uh, now that is actual area required next let us find out what is actual area required 0.8% of actual area we are supposed to provide. So provided area may be more. Therefore now we have to check out. We have to check out whether provided area is more or it is less. Therefore we have to calculate actual gross area. So if I take 0.8% steel and if I just calculate what is the actual gross area. So that was sort to be 147632 mm square that was sort to be 147632 mm square what does it indicate it indicates that the actual required area is 147632 whereas the provided area is 16 into 10 to the power of 4 mm square that means provided area is more so therefore there is no need of providing 0.8 percent of that particular provided area therefore there is no need of providing 0.8 percent of that particular uh, provided area we are supposed to see that required area required area of concrete is 147632 only required of the area of concrete is 147632 only so therefore now we are supposed to check or rather we are supposed to provide the area of steel a longitudinal steel little more than this 0.8 percent of this particular value so 0.8 percent 0.8 by 100 into that value that works out to be 1181 mm square so therefore provide bars of 20 mm diameter four bars so area of steel provided area of longitudinal steel provided is 1256 mm square which is greater than 1181 so therefore it is safe now the lateral ties the diameter of the lateral ties should not be less than diameter of the bar divided by 4, 5 mm or 6 mm. Hence, we use 6 mm bars. The pitch, it shall be minimum of least lateral dimension that is 400 or 16 times the diameter of the bar. It is 320 or 300. So, out of all these three, 300 is less. Therefore, provide 6 mm lateral ties at 300 mm center to center as shown in figure 4. This is figure 4, wherein you will find the 4 bars provided at 4 corners. 
these are lateral ties 6 mm diameter bars uh, lead, uh, 6 mm diameter uh, rectangular ties at 300 mm spacing center to center this is sectional elevation and this is the plan so that means what we what we have observed in the two difference in the two that is in one we have seen that the area we have calculated and then we have provided their gross area was not given therefore we have taken it in the second area was already given or dimension is given wherein we have calculated whether it is gross area required is less or more accordingly we have provided the longitudinal steel this is the difference between the two cases review question minimum number of bars to be provided are four for rectangular sections and six for circular section whether it is true or false you just guess it the minimum diameter of the bars to be used 10 11 12 14 which is the right one you just guess it now the answer for this particular thing the minimum number of bars to be provided are four in case of rectangular section and six in case of circular section that is true statement that is true statement and minimum diameter of the bars to be used as longitudinal reinforcement is 12 mm diameter so that is the correct answer for the second question these are the references used for preparation of this particular presentation thank you thank you one and all